Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Vanuenhuis and today I'm showing you three awesome squat variations that you can use to help build a big squat. And make sure that you stay to the end so that you can learn how to implement this in your own training. Now before we get started, if you want to learn more about injuries, training, or rehab, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. The first squat variation that we're going to cover is the pin squat. The pin squat is a really good variation for people who either have trouble reaching depth in the squat or for people who have trouble generating power out of the bottom of the squat to fully stand up. The first step of properly performing pin squat is to set the pins or safeties at a height so that when you're in the bottom of the squat, the bar will actually be resting on those pins or safeties. Once the pins are properly set, all you're gonna do is load up the barbell and unrack it like you would a regular back squat. From here, you're gonna squat all the way down until the bar is actually completely resting on the pins. Pause for one to two seconds before driving up hard against the bar, fully standing up. The pin squat helps with depth by providing a physical end point that you have to hit in order to know that you're fully at depth. It also helps with generating strength out of the bottom of the squat by eliminating that stretch shortening cycle that you can get when you bounce out of the bottom rapidly. The next squat variation that we're going to cover is the SSB squat. This is an awesome variation for people who tend to get pitched forward in the squat and have a hard time keeping their chest up throughout the concentric portion of the motion. The SSB squat is basically the same thing as the back squat, just using the safety squat bar. The safety squat bar is designed such that when the bar is resting on your shoulders, the center mass of the weight is actually a little bit forwards of where it would be if you were using a straight bar. What this does is it actually allows the weight to pull you forward harder, making you reflexively have to stay more upright and fight against that pull from the barbell during the squat. The last squat variation that we're gonna cover for today is the tempo back squat. The tempo back squat is a really good variation for people who have a habit of dive bombing down to the bottom of the squat and getting out of position during the lift. For the tempo back squat, all you're gonna do is perform a regular back squat with a 2-0-2-0 or 3-0-3-0 tempo. This means that you would perform the lowering portion of the squat for two to three seconds and the lifting portion of the squat for two to three seconds. This should look like very steady continuous motion without any pauses at the bottom or top of the squat. When we're in the gym and trying to build a big squat, the most important thing is that you're training the squat style that you prefer, whether that's back or front squat, with an appropriate intensity and volume. As long as we're doing this, adding in different squat variations like the three that we went over today can do wonders for help improving weak points in the squat and making our squatting more efficient. The way that I would typically program these for a lifter who's looking to improve their squat is I would have them do their main squat variation, whether that's back or front squatting, earlier in the week with heavier loads and moderate volumes, and then use one or more of these squat variations in a secondary squat workout later that week. I would typically have lifters do three to four working sets of four to six reps of one of these squat variations based upon their individual weaknesses. If you guys found this information helpful, please hit that like button and I'll see you next time.